Hi everyone, uh, this is DRC. Um, today I'm going to walk you through importing a sample into GarageBand um, and we're going to go over how to line it up with GarageBand and how to cut, copy and paste it and split it up and show you how we could sample or use a sample. What we're going to do, we're going to count out a four bar sample. Um, my ne my uh, metronome is turned off here, the click track. Um, press K, that turns it off. We're going to find the beginning of our audio. So right about here, zoom in. Get as close as you can. The closer and cleaner you get it, the better the sample it's going to be. Um, put my four bar loop on just a sec. So we're going to play it from the beginning. I'm going to count along with the beats. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So here where it repeats right here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that right down the line. I'm going to split it, press Command T. So we have four bars in GarageBand, and we have a four bar sample. So I'm going to play our sample again, just so you can hear it. I'm going to count along with it and try not to mess up this time. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So we need to match this tempo with GarageBand's tempo. This is a, so we're going to have to speed up GarageBand's tempo to match it with this. So sorry. So what we're going to do, we're going to raise the tempo until it fits perfectly in those four bars, four complete bars. So we're going to split directly on the beginning of the fifth bar. It's going to give you a perfect loop. So I'll play it. I'm not going to count the long. So you don't have to hear me keep counting. Turn the click. Cool. So we have a really nice sample now. A um, couple things we have to do. Um, we have to key match this. So I have my piano. So that's going to probably, I think it's going to be F sharp minor. So now we have it. Uh, the tempo matched up, we have the key matched up, but um, what we're going to do, we're just going to go over how we could cut this up. Um, something I like to do, I'll just like play, um, pause and um, play button. So I find like something I, like, I, I want to do. Um, so I'm going to actually copy this and paste it here. We're going to chop this one up. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to press Command T. First and second beat. It's going to look a little weird for a second, but it'll make more sense. So, see how it's all organized? Um, it's like a pattern. I mean, a lot of music is pattern based. So, I'm going to delete the second part. And you can too. You can do this with any sample that you make. Here, we still have our original if we want to go back and reference it. So, for now, uh, let's just see what this sounds like. I kind of like that. I can I can vibe with that. Um, let's say we want to go even further. Um, I'm going to find the ones I like the best. I want to get rid of these two, so I'm gonna get rid of those two. So let's see. If we loop these two, let's see what it sounds like. That works. Um, let's see what we could do with that. Highlight them both. You could loop both at the same time, by the way, if you highlight them. Let's split this up. So you see little tick marks here. These are um, subdivisions of a singular beat. The big line is on the beat. That's the downbeat. So we have one, two, three, four, two, two, three. So when you hear me counting in the beginning, that's what I'm talking about. So we have subdivisions right here. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that in half. Let's just hear what it sounds like. If I do that, I'm going to copy and paste it.
cool not my style but just to show you how you could do it uh, go even further cut so now we just went from our first sam our first sample here is one full beat we're gonna cut it down from a quarter note to an eighth note from an eighth note to a sixteenth note how do I get those numbers? Uh, that's a good question. So we have one, two, three, four. One bar is divided into four parts, so quarter notes. That would be our quarter note here. One, two, three, four. Um, divide it a uh, quarter note in half. It's divided into eight, eight equal parts. So we have our eighth notes. One, two, one. I'll just do this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if that makes sense to you, eight equal parts, eighth notes. Um, then we're going to divide it into our sixteenth notes. Copy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So, if you want to make it sound like it's broken, that's one way to make it sound like it's broken. Um, for right now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for my loops library to open up. And I'm going to make a software instrument track. A couple of different ways you could do this. Um, I'm going to pick a beat machine. I like some 808s. I have a beat machine um, connected to my computer right now. If you don't have a beat machine, you should totally get one. They're like 100 bucks on like Amazon. Um, I could put a link into the description below or the video for you. Um, the one I have. Um, very cheap very easy to use so um, let's find some random beat for right now um, let's go hip-hop um, I'm good with that just for now so what I'm feeling is what I what I'll do Sometimes. I really like that. Um, let's make that longer. Copy those two. Let's see how this sounds. And right here, I want to do something different, I think. So I'm going to cut this and make a 16th note. And let's get this other loop over here. Now let's do the same thing to that. If I get the lineup perfect. Um, so we're on the downbeat right now. Copy going on the th first and third beat. The beats you're not supposed to clap on. Um, if you've ever been to a concert. Alright, so I'm going to do take a 16th note out of this one. So, one, two, three, third beat. Go over one tick mark. Cut. Copy. Paste four times. So let's see what we get. I'm good with that. Let's see. I'm really happy with that. So I have my beat machine. Wish I can make it sound better for you guys. I'll figure that out eventually. Um, I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. All right. What I'm going to do. We already got a hi-hat. I'm going to just do a kick. I'm going to play along with it and just see what I like. See what I recorded here. It's my own thing. Um, I'll make another video on this eventually. How to make everything sound perfect like a computer played it for you. Um, but for now, I'm just going to do it. It's called quantization. Um, I know what I played. So I'm going to just do eighth notes for now. And we'll call it at that. 
Um, next thing I'd like to do, um, let's add a bass, because why not? Um, I like to make my own bass tracks. Um, I like to use the synthesizers. Let's see. Really good one. Um, where is it? Synthy bass. For like, if you're trying to make it sound like, um, more like trap, or if you're trying to make it sound more like, um, if you want to make it sound more like hip-hop and not sound like, uh, 80s song don't use the Huber bass use like synth E bass this one works really really well let's find the note that we want to do I think our recording's a little out of tune. It's an old recording. We're not going to worry about that that much, but just for like learning purposes, I'm going to record just the bass part. All right. Cool. So I got what I wanted. I'm going to double click on it. Quantize that. And if you're so inclined, you can make up your own words over top. Um, I'm not going to sing for you right now because I don't have words for this. Um, then from there, what can you do? Um, say you're really happy with this sample and you want to keep this. Um, that's totally up to you. I'm going to keep this exactly how it is. I'm not going to edit it any further. That's for you to mess around with if you want to do more. Um, if you want it to be a movable loop, so you have to highlight everything constantly, um, press Command J. And it's going to come up with this. Non contiguous audio regions require the creation of a new audio file. What that means, it is going to make a new audio file for you. And what that means, it's just going to make you a loop. It's going to make it easy to move around. You don't have to worry about like moving each individual part. Um, the reason why I copied this, this is our original part of our original sample. I'm just going to search that out to the four full bars that we originally had. Um, I'm going to do some weird stuff real quick, so bear with me. Slide everything over. Something I like to do um, when I'm teaching at my school, what I'll do is um, from the beginning, of, I'll play the loop from the beginning that we made. You could do it a bunch of different ways. You could have like just the bass and the beat start first. I don't like that. Um, maybe just have like the hi hat and then keep looping this a little bit and have this loop have the bass, the beat that you make and the bass that you make come in after. Cool. So I hope that was helpful to you. Um, you were able to pick up something from this. I hope my voice was loud enough this time. Some people were co uh, complaining about that in other videos. Um, you can make a whole song just with this. Make different sections. I mean, trust your ear. You listen to enough music. And if you're on GarageBand, you know, follow what sounds good to you. If it sounds good, you're probably doing it right. If it sounds weird and you might still be doing it right. Um, if it sounds bad, you're probably not doing it right. Um, if you have any questions, comment on the video. Um, if you have any suggestions, any other ideas that you want to learn about, someone suggested this video. Um, earlier this week, so I'm posting it for that person. If you have a question, you want me to make a video, I'll gladly go through it. Um, take care, everybody.